Hello everybody and welcome back to the Adventures in Collecting YouTube channel where we take a closer look at the toys we talk about on the show and today we have a few things to look at. So we have not one, not two, not three, but four and technically five new Marvel Legends figures to look at. So today we are looking at the MCU portion of the new uh, Marvel Legends Wakanda Forever wave. Uh, so we are of course looking at the Atuma Build-A-Figure. Um, I like that on the new, these new uh, windowless packaging, uh, we get the Build-A-Figure kind of uh, diagram here on the spine. And as you can see, um, big shouts to Zap Comics for, for having these in stock, but also a friend of the pod, Craig at Craig Stuff for picking these up. Um, he kept the, uh, the Black Panther and um, Hatut figures uh, and donated the, uh, the Build-A-Figure pieces so that way I could finish Atuma and continue the ever-growing Marvel Legends MCU collection. So, uh, as you can see on these windowless boxes, we have a combination of, of, uh, key art as well as renderings of the figures. As I mentioned, you get the diagram on the side and then on the other spine, or you get, uh, more of that key art. And then on the back, what you can expect to see, uh, in the package as well as all of the kind of the safety stuff. So, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up one of these. Uh, we'll, we'll start, we'll start with, uh, you know what, let's, let's do Everett Ross. We'll, we'll open Everett Ross, because we've all, we've all seen Everett Ross already. Um, just to kind of get an idea before we hop into the light box and do all the editing magic, uh, let's see what one of these things actually looks like, uh, on the inside, you know, in terms of the, the experience here. So, plastic free packaging. Everything is nice and wrapped up here in plastic. So in here we have our Build-A-Figure pieces as well as Everett Ross's uh, pistol. And then we have our, our coffin here. Now everyone that is complaining about these that they don't get to see the figure before they buy it. So I just want to address that really fast. I order most of my figures on Amazon and other online retailers. So usually even if there is a plastic window, I don't get to see it. Um, before it arrives at my doorstop. And then, yeah, of course, you know, if you're ordering from Amazon or something like that, you get it and the face print is off to the right once you once you open it. Um, you know, if you are unlike me and just tear through these, uh, if you open them carefully, you know, if there is something wrong with the figure, if there is, you know, a factory error or if there is, uh, you know, some sort of paint defect or, you know, broken or missing pieces, you just put it back in the box and do your return on, on Amazon and, and get your money back. Um, I don't see any difference there. I would have done the same thing if it if it didn't, if it had a window and I noticed that. Um, all right, so there you go. You know, we have Everett Ross. He's on our, our normal, uh, you know, we've seen this body a million times, uh, male suited body. Uh, we'll, when we get to the light box, we'll compare him to the, this head sculpt to the other head sculpt. But having looked at it for as long as I've looked at it, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is at least a new head sculpt that looks a little bit different. Definitely different paint, paint apps. And then, uh, as I mentioned in the plastic, uh, or I'm sorry, in the, the little paper baggie here, we get the rest of our accessories. So we have our Build-A-Figure pieces, in this case, Atuma's, one of Atuma's arms and, uh, and his weapons. And then uh, we get Everett's little space pistol here. Definitely not a Definitely not a uh, standard issue pistol. So this actually looks like a new weapon. I don't think we've we've had this one before. Um, but uh, yeah, has the little little uh, was a nine millimeter port in the front, so that way you can uh, you can plug in your blast effect. Uh, yeah. So there's your your unboxing experience. So with that, let's uh, let's take the rest of these guys here into the light box to take a closer look at the Marvel Legends Wakanda Forever. Uh, Atuma build a figure wave Marvel Legends. Let's go.
you have it folks there is your wakanda forever black panther wave um for me the three highlights are our namor nakia and atuma um and these are just gorgeous figures i love the bodies on these especially um especially namor's the the pinless joints the way that they kind of did his diaphragm and everything um it's just it's just really really good he does leave a little bit of a back gap there when you have him bent down really far but um yeah th this i can't wait to see see these characters uh in action you know I, I love namor i know some of the other uh toy lines like some of the other um kids lines have shown that he's got this like a uh, very mayan helmet on but um you know you can you can really you know you can really kind of strike some some cool poses with him i love his spear the one thing i will say um kind of overall about the line is some of the joints do feel a little gummy to me um i had a little bit of a hard time on uh on some of the elbows you know they do just feel not so much on, on namor you can see he doesn't have a whole lot of give but um you know especially on atuma uh, I just felt like his his elbow joint, just to get it going, um, was a little on the gummy side. Um, he does have tiny feet for such a big guy, but he, as you saw, he does stand no problem. You know, he has really great balance. Um, the detail on Atuma is ridiculous. I love, it almost looks like he's wearing some sort of, I don't know if you can really see that really well, but he's got like some sort of clear mask over his nose and mouth. Um, I don't know if he needs that for when he's not in the ocean or if he needs it for when he's in the ocean but um really cool details on him love all of kind of the nautical bone armor you know the hammerhead shark helmet um just a really really cool design on this figure i i, I hope i hope these aren't one and done um I put him so you can see him hope this isn't a one and done character i hope hope we get a little bit more of him and then Nakia, um, this is beautiful. I love the alternate head, you know, with without the the mask on. You know, really great detail in her hair. Um, she has some really cool sculpted uh, hands, so that way her fingers are a little bit farther apart, so that way she can hold, um, you know, hold her her uh, her weapons, her power rings. She also does have, which I wanted to point out, um, she's got a, a bracelet on. Um, that looks like the bracelet from the first Black Panther film. Um, so the, the little like bomb pellet things. Um, so that's pretty cool. So it looks like she's got some Wakandan tech. Can't wait to see how Shuri factors into all of this. You know, her figure being missing from this uh, this set is is very curious. Um, and also, you know, we saw Riri Williams uh, in the trailer working on you know some sort of Mark One for the Iron Heart, perhaps. So. You know, uh, and we've seen other figures in the Titan series of her in, you know, proper armor. So, you know, fingers crossed that she comes to Marvel Legends. Uh, yeah, but this is a great set. Uh, if you are a Marvel, uh, an MCU collector, um, like myself, I feel like this is this is a big win. It's been a while since we've had some, you know, some all brand new uh you know uh sculpts here you know now because we've had a couple of waves up for pre-order but it's been a while since we've gotten our hands on new ones right that that disney plus wave is coming uh i think the last one we had was the, the eternals and the the first what if wave so um you know these are really these are really great if you're if you're into the mcu figures of course if you're not this is probably an easy skip for you you only need to need you you uh <laughs> you only have two comic figures in this wave and uh and you can sell off your Build-A-Figure pieces. Uh, but we'll put links in the description where you can order these. They're, they're available on Amazon as of the recording of this video. Uh, they are still available, available for pre-order and should be shipping early October. Or, you know, check out your local comic shop, uh, local toy stores. They might have them already. Like I said, my my local comic shop, Zap Comics in Wayne, New Jersey, had these. Uh, and shouts to them. I, I picked them up and I'm already enjoying them. Uh, so make sure you hit that subscribe button down there so that way you don't miss videos like this where we take deeper dives into the toys that we love. Sometimes we talk too much and go on and ramble uh, and and do a whole wave like this. Uh, while you're down there, make sure you leave us a comment. Uh, what's the MCU figure that uh, Marvel Legends, the Hasbro team, has not tackled yet that you want to see? Mine is Whiplash. That's, 
That's my answer. Um, while you're liking and subscribing to things, make sure you follow us here at AIC underscore podcast on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, where we're constantly posting tour reviews, news, deals, availability, anything, and everything that we think would help out the community. And then, of course, the podcast. So you can listen to Adventures in Collecting wherever you find podcasts or simply search for Adventures in Collecting and you'll find us. Uh, you can also hit that link in the description below, which will take you to our website and you can find links to all of the things that I just mentioned. And as always, Wakanda forever.